Welcome to the Hobo and, 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 and I'm his girlfriend podcast. And again, my name is Hobo Tom. And I'm the girlfriend. Where is your wrestling shirt, Tom? Well, because we're here to go to give our predictions on the greatest Royal Rumble. I got something for you, sweetie. Yes! New wrestling shirts. Of course, because I am Hobo Tom. The boxcar superstar shirt. The Hobo. Who I should start a feud with one day. A hobo death match for all his aluminum. Of course, my girlfriend has the lovely Leva Bates, also known as Blue Pants from NXT. Yay! Again, again, this is in honor of the greatest Royal Rumble that's taking place in Saudi Arabia on Friday morning, so I'm going to try and get this video up as quickly as I can. Really simple video this time. We're just going to kind of go through the matches. They're, they're not in order. And we're going to give our predictions. And these aren't in any particular order. I, I'm guessing the Royal Rumble match might probably be the big main event. So we'll start off with there. The 50-man Royal Rumble! Let's get ready to rumble! So I have Braun Strowman winning. And again, it's the 50-man. I think I only know 25 of the participants. It's it's really a pickums only because he's the biggest man. I don't think there's anything else involved except for a trophy. Who do you want? I'm gonna pick whoever you want. Two for Braun Strowman then. Then we go to the Universal Championship. The champion, undefeated, ever fighting, Brock. Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Who do you have, sweetie? I'm going to go with Roman. Yes, because I think Roman Reigns is going to go over because this might be one of Brock's last, last matches. It's a good way to pass the title on. Then we have a fatal four-way for the Intercontinental Championship. We have Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. Versus Samoa Joe. Versus The Miz. Who do you have, sweetie? Joe. 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 No, I don't think it's going to be Joe. Seth, I think, is going to retain his title. We're going to milk that championship. Hopefully between him and Finn for a while. I don't know what Joe's going to do. He might, because I know he challenges Roman Reigns, period, backlash. In another week. So again, we'll see. So again, girlfriend has Samoa Joe. I choose Burrito! Seth Rollins. Next match, we have AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Who do you have? Why, of course, AJ Styles. It's the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Yes, I have him going over to either he's going to win because Nakamura gets the cue. I don't think it's, it's not going to be a clean win. Or AJ Styles is going to low blow him after all the weeks of Shinsuke Nakamura giving him low blows, which is just kind of the whole forearm and elbow right between the legs. It's not good. Right? Right. Then we go to the U.S. Championship of Jeff Hardy versus Jinder Mahal. I'll go first because she's gone first a couple times. I say it's going to be Jeff Hardy. He's going to retain, stay on SmackDown. I'll go with Jeff Hardy. Okay. That sounds fair. We'll have then the... Tagged the Raw Tag Team Champion of Bray Wyatt and Broken or Woken Matt Hardy versus Da 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 Da
So again, I have the Woken Ones. For they shall delete, delete, delete Seamus and Samzaro and make them obsolete, obsolete, obsolete. Who do you have? Um, how about you pick for me? No, you must pick. Or it has been deemed that way by the seven deities. Yes. What were the names again? So you have Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, the Woken ones. We'll do the Wokens. Yes. They shall, on their conquest of gold, the acquisition of gold. Yes. Then we have the Bludgeon Brothers, who hold the SmackDown Tag Team Champions versus the Usos. Who do you have? Um, I'm going to go with what you choose. No, you must pick one. I said, the one that you choose. I think the Bludgeon Brothers are going to retain. They just managed to pick up the belts and the and what they have going between Jimmy Uso and his wife Naomi should be kind of interesting. So 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 again, who do you want? Whoever you choose on this one. Sweetie. The YouTube universe wants to know. We're gonna have to wait for the answer. There we go. To the Cruiserweight Championship match. I think it's going to be Kalisto. I think he won the gauntlet match. Versus Cedric Alexander. I picked the second one. Kali Soul. Oh, the Lucha House Party is going to take some gold. I don't think so. Cedric Alexander he just got the belt. I think he's he's going to retain. Then we have... Da 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 da. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. Versus, I am the game. And Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, also known to me as John Paul Levesque, and my my age. I'm kind of torn on this. I think. Only because John Cena might be leaving soon. This might be his big send-off win. So, lol, John Cena wins. Who do you have? I agree. I'll pick John. Well, big money John. Big match. Lol, John Cena wins. And in a casket match. Which means the only way to win is to stuff your opponent in a casket and slam the lid. Lock it up with Yes. Or in some some instances I think they were actually buried alive in their casket. So it's the Undertaker. Ooh, and still sends chills, even though I thought he was retired. If he did make a nice retirement sign for him. And we left it at WrestleMania too. Versus Mashka. Rusev. So, sweetie, who do you have? I'm going to pick the first one. The Undertaker. The Dead Man. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a happy Rusev day. And Rusev's going to go over. Although I can see this going either way. It's either going to be a three-minute Undertaker squash match. Uh, I think they're probably going to push Rusev, I hope. Again, it should be a happy Rusev day. And the, that is our predictions for the greatest Royal Rumble ever. Again, please like and subscribe to the video. If you do leave a comment or subscribe, or you can send us an email at hobo, at the hobo. Girlfriend. And girlfriend, hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. We will and a shout out to you. Um, hopefully, a couple of news and programming no notes. Um, probably tomorrow I'll get to my Raw and SmackDown reviews. It's just been a really busy week. Been collecting a lot of aluminum. That's good. And she's the one with the real job. So, so she brings in the money, and I just bring in the pieces of aluminum. 
again, please like, share, subscribe, and email us, and you will get your comments read on the air, and you will get probably a little special shout out. Also, do not forget that on Cinco de Mayo, NXT is coming to Daytona Beach. Hopefully, if I'm not fishing. Because, again, I can't pay for food with aluminum. I have to actually go fishing for my food. So either I'm going fishing or I'm going to the wrestling event. We'll, we'll, we'll see. That all depends on the ocean. And the dilapidated boat. So, again, NXT is coming to Daytona Beach. Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. At the little gym they have down there on George Ingram Street. I forget the name of it. Again, do come there. Also, do not forget, Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Hopefully, it's coming to town.